Awesome. <laughs> yeah, some people hit me up like her. I don't. I didn't. I, this is my first time meeting her. Oh, hey, my name is Mia Ho. I'm a sophomore yeah. international business major for the concentration in marketing, so, and we're very inspired by MK Asante. The fact that he kept going, he kept pushing, and the fact that he actually now has told his story to people. I just wanted to know, like, where his inspiration, where does he get his drive from? How y'all doing? How you doing? From the lovely Zena Boston. So who knew that you could overcome the struggle? I said, who knew that you could overcome the struggle? When life fucks, sometimes you just be getting in trouble. But who knew that you could overcome the struggle? Against all odds, he make it move like a boss. Like I really love the way that um, MK Asante wrote this book. He really utilized the craft of writing that I talk about with my students all the time. And the other reason is because I heard him on the radio doing an interview, and it was such a compelling interview, and it made the book sound so compelling. And I was really, not struggling, but not communicating with one of my sons as well as I liked it. He was about 25 at the time. And um, I thought, you know, maybe this book might reach him. And so I got the book instantly, sent it to myself, sent it to him. He called me, he was like, Mom, let's talk about this book. And we started this whole dialogue, this whole, um, it really changed our relationship, I'll have to say, because we were able to open up and talk about some things we hadn't. And once that happened with this book, I was like, okay, that's it, I'm in. So, I love Buck. So if you can't find the divine in this mess, just remember that the hood is one of God's mess. That was the dopest introduction I ever heard. Thank you. Thank you. That was super dope. The things that we noticed that we talked about was your candidness in the book and that there was you didn't filter yourself. And I think as a writer, I really appreciated that. And I guess my question is like, what made you just like go all out and you yeah. know not really care what <laughs> you know I was received, yeah, basically. Yeah, I mean Maya Angelou, who was a mentor of mine, you know, she told me like the last time I saw her actually, I was working on Buck and she said, you know, dude, you don't have to tell the brutal truth. She said, because the truth is brutal or not. You just tell the truth. That's what she kept saying. You just tell the truth. Buck means a lot to me. Um, obviously, it's a memoir. It's my first memoir. Um, my fourth book, but my first memoir, you know. One of the Bucks, I said Young Buck, Buck Wild, Buck Shot, Buck Town, Save Buck, Black Buck, Make Buck, Buck Now. But I didn't say one of the Bucks that's like, really related to writing a memoir, which is buck naked, you know what I'm saying? When you write a memoir, you're just naked in front of everybody, like this shit is just hanging, like, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody can see everything. Like, oh, you're vulnerable, you're weak. But now I see vulnerability as like this incredible, like a superpower, basically. Like, you can be vulnerable and be open about your life, yourself, your story, your journey. That shit makes you unfuckwittable. I think that kind of like what he spoke on about People who don't read books or people that, you know, don't necessarily like literature, I think that this attacks it from a different way. I wanted to know, um, when writing your book, um, what audience did you have in mind? I wanted it to be able to, I wanted someone in college to be able to read it and like that age and like, you know, someone who's studying literature and totally be able to like digest it, read it, analyze it, critique it. But I also wanted like, like, one of the best compliments I get, you know, it, I get this shit all the time, like, it's on the block, you know what I'm saying, where dudes be like, yo, I nigga, I don't even read books, you know what I'm saying, but your shit, I'm like, niggas like, your shit, I fuck with it, you know what I mean, and, you know, these are people that don't read books, like, they don't never read, they're like, yo, I don't read nothing, you know what I mean, they always start with that, like, yo, yeah, right, exactly, like, you know, I mean, Chris Rocky, like, I don't read nothing, I ain't never read a book, nigga. <laughs> Like, all right, slow down, slow down. <laughs> but yeah, like they, you know, but the, but they're like, yeah, shit, I'm fuck with fuck, yo, know? like, and, and that makes me proud. Like there was a a, a lady in, uh, in Washington State. Um, she was like, I give your books and Sherman Alexi books to kids who hate reading. 
You know what I'm saying? It is a, a juvenile detention center. You find something or you read something that's like, oh, this is what a book could be. Being vulnerable in your memoir, how did people react to it, especially those who are mentioned in the book? I, I mean, try this as a little experiment, right? Tell your friends or your family. Tell me to write a memoir. You know what I'm saying? And just see how they react. <laughs> yeah. And you know, this is another advice for writers. When you come up with titles, you're gonna come up with a lot of whack titles first. Keep throwing them out there, because eventually those bad ones lead to a good one. So I was throwing out bad titles, and then one day I just called my mom out the blue, and she was like, "Hello, yes." <laughs> like. What is it, man? <laughs> so she's like, um, I said, Mom. She said, What? I said, Buck. She was like, Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so I'm like, Yeah, that's what's up, Mom. So she co signed the title and she just knew already what it meant. Like, Buck, like, yes. Like, yeah, it was you. Like, Said I always knew how to keep on running, running, whoa, running, running. I keep on running. Runaway slave, running from the grave, man. Ran from being saved. Can I get an A, man? Say, man, I was wondering why you running. Hey, fam, I ain't running. I'm chasing something. Uptown Philly, where they be clapping a lot. Killers on they didn't get at you, they make us a lot. Cops like Kim Elijah, why they shaking the block? Play with fire, cause it's better to burn in a rock. I've been running my whole life So like my skin, the color of midnight So when I hold a pen, my brother, they kinda life I be up writing for little Tamir Rice Real Adelphia raised me crazy Rocks in the system, 80s baby Mama knocked on wisdom, praise the lady Shout out Zimbabwe, the land that raised me Oh, What do we fight for, who do we live for In this cold, cold world of ours What do we dream for, who do we lean on in this world of divided powers Babies dying, mamas crying In this cold, cold world of ours Babies dying, mamas crying In this cold, cold I never world of ours I running, running, whoa Said I won't slow down, I won't stop running, running, whoa They can't catch me now, I keep on running, running